my name is Ray and you're watching Ray of Books. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and if this is your first time here, welcome. I make bookish content so if you like books then you are definitely in the right place. If you would like to see more of my face talking about books please hit that subscribe button down below. Today's video is going to be a wee bit different from what I usually upload. It has absolutely nothing to do with library books, but instead I am going to be giving you guys a tour of my son's bookshelf. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you may not know that on February 27th, my 30th birthday, I gave birth to my son, Odyssey Mercury Garrett, or OG for short. One of the things about parenthood that I'm really, really excited about is encouraging him to read. I so look forward to fostering a deep love and appreciation of reading in my son. My husband and I started building his little library a few months before he was born and like any good book collection, it is still a work in progress. Obviously, I am in a very different location than where I am when I usually film my videos and this is where OG's little library slash book nook is. It's super chill, super cozy, and I'm super jealous of it because I wish that I had a reading area or a reading nook as cool as his. Now, as for the actual books on the shelf, each cubby kind of sort of has its own theme, more or less, and let's just dive into it. In the first cubby, we have our bedtime stories or stories that I've decided are going to be primarily read at bedtime. The titles on this shelf are Dinosaur Dinosaur Say Goodnight and Other Bedtime Rhymes, I Love My Daddy, My Mommy and Me, Goodnight Gorilla, Songs in the Shade of the Cashew and Coconut Trees, and Goodnight Moon. My favorite book from this cubby is, of course, the classic Goodnight Moon. I mean, who doesn't love Goodnight Moon? I feel like when I was a kid, I was obsessed with this book. I wanted my room to look like the Goodnight Moon bedroom. And now, as an adult, looking back at this and thinking about how random this book really is makes me love it even more. I mean, we were really out here as kids saying goodnight to some mittens and goodnight to a bowl of mush, whatever that is. The second cubby is mainly alphabet, counting, and colors types of books. There are also a few picture books on this cubby because I hated how empty the shelf looked. I will admit that a lot of the books on this cubby are pretty advanced for Odyssey. I don't expect him to actually read and enjoy these books for some time in his life, but they were either on sale at Green Apple or super cheap at Ross, so my husband and I grabbed them just as, you know, just in case books. It's better to have them than it is to not have them. Golden Gate Park in A to Z Adventure. The ABCs of Black History, Trace and Learn A to Z Alpha Letters, Colors, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, Numbers, Let's Learn Spanish, Tomorrow I'll Be Brave, Ona, The Snowy Day, Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. My favorite book from the second cubby and OG's favorite as well is Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. This is the first book that I read to him during story time that he was actually totally engrossed in and is one of the few books still that he fully pays attention to. If I am actually pointing to different alphabet letters with my finger, he will actually look at them, which is super cool and it's so amazing to see your kid kind of look at things and actually focus on them. I don't know, it's just a very interesting experience to me. Cubby number three is the animal and nature themed cubby and the titles on this cubby are Never Feed a Bear, Silly Goose, Little Bear's Big Adventure, My Little Forest, My Little Ocean, My Little Garden, and Deer Zoo. 
My favorites from this cubby are the My Little series, so My Little Garden, My Little Forest, and My Little Ocean. I think these books are so amazing. They are made from 100% recycled materials, which gives them this really awesome rustic nature -y vibe. And another thing that I'm really excited to do is to take Odyssey on hikes and outdoor adventures. And I feel like these books are an excellent way to, you know, pre-game him into the great outdoors. The fourth cubby is a little bit sloppy in terms of organizations. If I had to give it a theme, it would probably be the emotions, black excellence, and self-awareness cubby along with a few other miscellaneous books. The titles on this cubby are That is not a good idea. Whose bones? Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Grumpy Monkey, The Feelings Book, Anti-Racist Baby, Follow Your Dreams Little One, Dream Big Little One, Nerdy Baby's Space, Young, Gifted, and Black, Petra, and Paddington Goes Shopping. My absolute favorite books from this cubby are the Vashti Harrison Follow Your Dreams Little One and Dream Big Little One books. I love these books because they illustrate black men and women who changed the world. The first book that I ever read to Odyssey was Follow Your Dreams Little One and the last page made me tear up. Of course, I also am just postpartumly emotional and hormonal anywho. But the last page really touched me because it says, Wherever you go, whatever you see, reach for the stars and always be the best that you can be. And I think it is so incredibly important, especially for young black boys, to know that they can be whatever they want to be. That there is no reason why they have to conform to what society expects them to be. And that... I always want my son to feel like he is free to be the best that he can be no matter what he's doing and no matter where he's going with his life. The other book from that shelf that I really, really enjoy is Petra and it's just a really adorable story about a pebble. That's pretty much all I can say about it. It's a story about a pebble who kind of changes her identity depending on her surroundings. and. It's just a really cute story. It's adorable. It's just really adorable. That's, that's all I can say about it. Cubby number five is where the oversized books reside. These books just don't fit on any of the other cubbies. They're also a little bit too advanced for Odyssey right now. And that's pretty much how they ended up here on cubby number five. The Mixed Up Chameleon, Counting Creatures, California, The Magic Island, My Bison, and The Book of Mistakes. My absolute favorite book from cubby number five is Counting Creatures. It is beautiful. This is like, I think, the most beautiful counting book I have ever seen in my life. I came across this one at my other library job when I was cataloging their backlog of children's materials. And when I saw it, I absolutely knew that I had to have it for my own child. It is a beautiful book, as I keep saying. It has a whole bunch of flaps, cutouts, and die cuts that are absolutely beautiful. And it has a slight rhyming scheme. Of course, I'm a little bit wary to let OG play with it or read it as it is now because it is a really beautiful book and it is kind of fragile. So I'll probably wait until he's a little bit older for him to read this himself. But until then, like, it is a very beautiful book to look at. The sixth and final cubby is where all of the super duper old children's books reside. So these are children's books that were mine when I was a kid. Some were my dad's when he was a kid. I think a few are just like random books that were given to us that don't really fit into the theme of Odyssey's bookshelf right now, so they kind of all ended up in cubby number six. I'm not going to go through every single title in this cubby just because that would make this video incredibly long, but I will share with you guys a few of my favorites from this particular cubby. The first of these books is Georgie and 
Georgie was definitely my dad's book first, but I have very vivid childhood memories of this book as well. Georgie is absolutely adorable and you know what? Casper can go kick rocks because Georgie is hands down my favorite friendly ghost. This, my first book, was definitely my dad's book and I think it is absolutely adorable that his name in it is like Billy Feige with the two capital L's. My grandma was a really, really, really big book collector. I think I've mentioned that before on this channel. And for the books that she did purchase, she liked to put the date that she either acquired them or the date that they were read. I'm assuming that the date in this book is a purchase date, and I think that is absolutely adorable. The Little Train is another one of the books that was one of my dad's books when he was growing up, but I also have very vivid childhood memories of it. I remember being really confused when I first was introduced to Thomas the Tank Engine or whatever Thomas the Train is called and I was like oh this is just the little train and yeah so the little train is one of my other favorite books and is another one of those books where my grandma put the date in which she bought it in. There are also some of my first books on this shelf as well and my books have these little Mother Goose library stickers in them and they're just so funny to me because my handwriting was so janky, like absolutely so janky. This one is um, around the year and I remember just loving the illustrations in this book. And lastly, my favorite, favorite, favorite book from when I was a kid was Christopher's Harvest Time. I love the illustrations. I spent so much time pretending that I lived in the world of these illustrations. We have a blackberry bush in our backyard and I used to constantly search for the character in the book that comes out of the blackberry bush. I can't remember his name right now, but it was just one of my favorite things and just a really vivid memory that I have from this book in my childhood. And that is pretty much it for this bookshelf tour. Let me know some of your favorite children's books and also let me know what are some books that I should keep an eye out in order to add to Odyssey's book collection. Like I said, keep in mind this collection is still a work in progress. There's a lot more diversity I want to add to this shelf. Um, I definitely want to add more books about differently abled people, but I haven't been able to find a lot of those. And I'm also keeping an eye out for board books that feature Black Boy Joy. I've noticed that a lot of the board books that are kind of targeted towards black boys have a lot to do with kind of struggle or not fitting in or they're just not, they're not the books that I want to read to him just yet. I just kind of want his early book memories to be happy and joyful. So definitely looking for board books that focus on black boy joy so if you have any recommendations for those please drop them in the comments down below if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up i do believe it helps me out with the youtube algorithm and if you ever want to hear or see me babble about books ever again please hit that subscribe button like i mentioned before it really 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 does mean the world to me I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and reading wonderful books and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!